your mercy in this place. Wow, ang dami natin. It's so good to see you all here. Pakisabi sa katabi, welcome to the feast. We mga first timers, can you see a show of hands? Lahat ng mga first timers nandito pa ngayon. Make some noise. If you're beside a first timer, paki high five you first timer and tell that first timer, welcome home. Yes, yes. We invite you here every Sunday, 1.45 p.m. session, and we hope you'll make this session your new spiritual home. Amen? Palapang natin si Lord for His love and mercy. Thank you so much for being here. We are blessed to have you. We are blessed to see you. And first timers, Mamiya po, after our session, we invite you to join us up here dito sa harap. We want to hear your story. We want to bless you, and we want to give you a gift to take home. Okay lang po ba yan, first timers? Yan. Today we're starting a new series. By the way, my name is Brother Tony Valenzuela. For those who don't know me yet, I was invited by Brother Alvin Barcelona to be the assistant builder here at the PM Feast. Yes, usually may mga kamay God is so good. And today we are starting a new series. Napaganda tong series na to because we're gonna del- deal with a lot of of, of, of ideas and discussions about poop culture. Can you say it with me? Poop culture. Poop culture. And we hope and pray that you'll be inspired by this new series to come to a deeper understanding why we believe in having a Pope and in the church, especially dito sa family natin, sa feast. Amen? And today we have a powerful guest preacher who will help us share the word. Pero before I continue, I also want to welcome sa lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon live on Facebook and online with those who are internationally right now. Yes, yung mga nasa ibang bansa. Relate na relate ako kasi ako taga Bahrain dati. Bahrain? Disyerto po pero walang baha, walang rain. Bahrain? Okay, ilan lang tumawa dyan? Okay, sige. But we're blessed to have you and hopefully one day, one Sunday, you will be here and we'll welcome you personally with open arms dito sa PM Session kung saan merong magandang mangyayari sa'yo! Yes! But before we welcome our guest preacher this afternoon, I invite you to first take your seat and let's watch this video. ICC. I'm sorry, I won't be with you physically, but you know that my mind, my heart, my prayers are with you. And dito po kasi ako ngayon sa Singapore, at ako'y naatasa na bisitahin at kamustahin ang, uh, ang mga feasts natin dito. At ako, ang dami kong kwento sa ating pagbalik ko, kamangha-mangha ang mga ginagawa ng ating mga uh, kababayan dito. Hindi lang silang bayani ng bayan, hindi bayani ng ating uh, pananampalataya at sa pagkalat ng mabuting balita ng Panginoon dito. Alam niyo, umalikap mag-serve dito sa abroad kasi iba ang mga demands, ang pressures, ang trabaho, nilalabanan pa nila ang lungkot at ang pagod. Pero alam niyo, ang saya-saya nilang naging lungkot. At uh, there's so much joy in their hearts at iyan ang isang malaking sikreto. Katunayan, excited ako sa pasimula ng ating bagong series ngayon dahil joy ang pag-uusapan natin the joy of the gospel one of the encyclical letters of Pope Francis at lalo akong uh, masaya dahil makakasama nyo ang uh, ating uh, dalawang pinaka-joyful preachers sa Feast Bay Area si Brother Tony at si Brother JC at ako'y makakasama nyo next Sunday alam nyo, masaya nga din ako dahil ngayong araw na ito ay uh, simula na ng bear months at syempre, pag bear months gusto na naman yung kantang wene alam nyo yung wene, di ba? Whenever I see girls and boys and in lanterns on the street ako, namamayag pag na naman si Jose Marichan at simula na ang countdown natin na kakanta na naman tayo ng joy to the world. Pero dito sa feast, every Sunday, we have joy. In all the days of our lives, we have so much joy because we have Jesus. At pag ganyan na nangyari, sigurado mayroong magandang mangyayari sa ating lahat. I'll see you Sunday. Enjoy the feast today. God bless you. 
Palapakan natin, Brother Alvin Barcelona! Mas malakas na palakpak para kay Lord! Can I ask you to all stand? Tayo tayo lahat. Ngitian ng katabi. Sabi mo sa kanya, I'm so blessed to be here. Amen? And we want to welcome you. Of course, minalakam na kayo kanina ni Brother Tony, but it's just so great to see you all once again. Namiss ko po kayo. More especially to those of you who have been uh, with us in growing this feast. But uh, to those of you who are seeing me for the first time, ang pangalan ko po ay Coach JC Libiran. I am a life coach. And uh, right now, I am leading a feast. Pinaka last feast po natin uh, after nito is the 3 p.m. session. Ang pangalan po ay the feast OPM. OPM stands for Overflow PM. And really, some of you were able to visit us. Pero kung sakasakali pong hindi pa kayo nakakabisita, I hope that you can come and check us out. Alright? Can you just say to the person beside you, experience the overflow. How many of you want to experience an overflow of blessing in your life? Raise your hand and make some noise! Sabi mo sa katabi mo, gusto ko yan. Tamang-tama po kasi today we start the Burr month, September 1. Kaya pwede na po tayong bumate ng Merry Christmas sa mga tao sa paligid natin. Can you greet them? Merry Christmas! Saktong-sakto. May bumabati sa atin. Matagal natin inintay ito. Ang ilang mga palapakan rin natin, si Jose Marichan. At kapag Burmats, my dear friends, there's a lot of things exciting. Tignan na katabi. Mukhang excited na ba siya sa darating na Pasko? O mukhang gusto niya ng lampasan? But one thing is for sure, my dear friends, we go through this season, kaya tayo no overwhelm, kaya tayo natatakot, kaya tayo nangangamba, kasi nakakalimutan natin ang totoong dahilan kung bakit tayo magpapasko. At ang totoong dahilan kung bakit tayo nagpapasko, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen? And that's why we're excited because as we start the Burr months, we're starting a brand new series entitled Pop Culture. Sabi nyo nga, Pop Culture. Diba, merong kasabihan na pop culture, but this time, would like to understand the culture of our Pope, Lolo Kiko, Papa Francisco. At tamang-tama po kasi for the next Sundays, we're gonna discover his wisdom, we're gonna discover his message, na minsan parang iisipin natin, talaga bang akma yan, makaka-relate ba kami? Talaga bang magigets namin yan? Well, my dear friends, just like our previous series, when you stick around, the Lord will speak to you and this will definitely be life-changing. Amen? Kaya tapikin ang katapi, sabihin mo sa kanya, let's experience this. Let's discover the Pope culture. And for talk one, ang title po is Evangeli. Sabihin nyo nga, Evangeli. Na may kinalaman sa evangelization or gospel. And my dear friends, when you look online, most especially with our Pope Francis, talagang may skandalo ka. Not negatively, but really, parang hindi mo siya inaasahan. These are some photos or scenes of our Pope Francis. Like recently, sa Vatican, kumalat yan, no? Na si Pope Francis nagpadasal, nagpa-pray over sa isang bagong pare. Tapos you also see, you know, uh, scenes that you'll see our Pope attending Mass, humbling himself, at kasama na rin dyan, siya rin mismo, he also, you know, have the sacrament of confession. Alam nyo, ang isang pinak hindi ko makakalimutan laging linya kay Pope Francis, whether it's a public, you know, uh, audience or a private audience, or kahit one-on-one, ito yung madalas niyang sinasabi, Please pray for me, I am a sinner. Wow! No, pag talagang narinig mo yon sa pinaka-leader ng ating katolikong simbahan, Parang magugulat ka at magugulantang ka kasi yung mismong leader namin, nagpapakumbaba, inaamin niya na hindi siya perpekto, kailangan-kailangan niya ang grasya at pagpapatawad ng Diyos. At kung ganun, ang ating Santo Papa, we're also invited to do the same. We're all sinners in need of Jesus. Amen? Ito, mabilis lang, na-experience ko po siya personally nung bumisita si Pope Francis, si Lolo Kiko, noong 2015. Naalala nyo? Bumisita siya. And I was so blessed to experience him in two occasions. Yung pong meeting of the families sa uh, Mall of Asia Arena. 
And then the other one is in UST, audience with the young people. At alam nyo, isang mabilis na kwento dyan, I was not supposed to be in that spot, pero pinalabas kami, naligaw kami, napalayo kami sa stage. And then all of a sudden, we saw ourselves kung saan dadaan si Po Francis. And I want you to watch this quick, quick lang na video. Panoorin natin on what happened. Our encounter with Lolo Kiko. Can we show that on screen? My wife, Emeline, nag-kiss pa kami. Sarap ng moment. Magical! Second time, I love it! Praise God! Palampakan natin ng Panginoon Diyos. Sige, we can pause that. Na naram naramdaman niyo yung kasiyahan ko. Kasi ibang tao, kailangan pang bumiyahe para makita siya. But in this case, you know, God really moves in mysterious ways. It was not an accident. It was God incidents for us to be there. That was the time that we were praying ni Milen, my wife, to have a child. And for us, Pope Francis is a reminder na magpatuloy lang kayo. The gift of life, the miracle of life. Fast forward, alam nyo to, majority of you knows that we, ni Milen, already has our child and she's, tur she's turning three-year-old, Eliana. My dear friends, I'm telling this to you. Si Pope Francis is so phenomenal but it's not him. But beyond Pope Francis, he points us to Jesus. Amen? And when we have Jesus in our lives, everything else is possible. Amen? Let's come before our God. Let's pray our family prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen? Raise both of your hands up in the air and together we pray. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy Word, O God. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light. Unto my path. For the whole month of September, we'll discover the wisdom and message of Pope Francis, particularly in, the, in, in his letter, The Joy of the Gospel, in Latin, Evangelii Gaudium. Sige nga, sabi nyo nga, Evangelii Gaudium. O, di ba? At least, pagka umalis kayo dito, when you share to people, may natutunan kayo something new. Uy, ano natutunan mo sa feast? Evangelii Gaudium, which means the joy of the gospel. At talagang kapag ka nakita natin yan, if you're not into reading, ako po, I'm really into books. Yung aming bahay, halos puno ng libro. Uh, I will really say this to you, this book, this letter is life-changing. And what he's trying to tell us overall, this is our one big message. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Sabihin sa katabi, keep your eyes on Jesus. Because there's a lot of distractions but my dear friends, mahalagang mahalaga rin na ano, let's focus our eyes on Him. Siya lang, wala nang iba. We might want to ask this question bago tayo mag-jump when it comes to the whole discussion of Evangelii Gaudium or the joy of the gospel. Bakit nga ba kailangan natin ng Santo Papa? Why do we have a Pope anyway? My dear friends, this is not man-made. Some people would say, di ba? No, it's actually God's idea. Having a Pope is God's idea. At pag sinasabi nila na wala naman yan sa Biblia, when you look into the Bible, Peter's name, our first Pope, is mentioned in many no, uh, scenarios or many passages. Particularly, we have here the passages, Matthew chapter 10, verse 2 to 4, Mark chapter 3, verse 16 to 19, Luke chapter 6, verse 12 to 19, Acts chapter 1 to 13. Makikita natin lagi ang pangalan ni Pedro ang laging nauuna. At alam nyo, in during that time, that's huge, that's big. Ibig sabihin, ganun kahalaga ang kanyang role pagdating sa ating simbahan. And our passage for today is this. From Matthew chapter 15, verses 18 to 19. I want you to read this with me. One, two, three, go. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And we're reminded, my dear friends, here na 
mahalaga mahalang tingnan natin kung paano ba naisulat no uh, ang Bible and you know Greek translation would say this you are Petros sabi nyo nga Petros and on this Petra everybody say Petra I will build my church ang ibig sabihin po ng Petros Petra is rock. We understand, we believe this, that Jesus is our cornerstone where the church is built. Pero we have to discover as well and appreciate that Jesus chose Peter to be the rock as well for the church. Ang totoong translation po ng Bible, when you look at it, is Aramaic. At ito yung isang translation niyan. Basahin natin. You are Kepa, and on this Kepa, I will build my church. Again, pertaining to Peter, the rock. And it's not just the Bible, not just yung original languages, but the church fathers like Tertullian, Origen, Cyprian, Jerome, Augustine, Eusebius, believe that Jesus built the church on Peter. Ito yung mga naging unang church leaders natin. And they are saying, affirming that Peter is really the first leader of the church. Kaya gusto gusto ko tong painting na ito of Jesus handing on the keys it's a representation. And in Matthew chapter 15, verse 19, it says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And my dear friends, here we're going to discover that Peter was our first pope. Pang ilang po si Pope Francis? Pang 266. And when you look into the history, my dear friends, sobrang ganda ba at glorious ng historia ng simbahan? I'm going to tell you as well. Hindi po. Marami mga naging scandals. And even the popes, hindi po sila excuse. In fact, I'm gonna share with you quickly. Tignan nyo to, ha? Popes gone wild. Pope Alexander VI, brinave niya yung mga cardinals para maging santo papa siya. Si Pope Urban VI, yung mga promopotesta sa kanya, lumalaban sa kanya, pinapatay niya. And there are even other sexual cases. Si po Benedict naman, no, kasama na rin dyan na talagang ang dami niyang mga naging skandalo rin. No? And I'm gonna give to you marami pa po when you look. Now, you might ask this, so bakit tinayaan ng Diyos na magkaroon ng mga masasamang Santo Papa? Natanong niyo ba yon? O maaari ngayon, tanongin natin, why did God allow bad popes? I'm gonna answer this, my dear friends. I don't know. Hindi ko alam. Pero ito ang siguradong alam na alam ko. Na sa kabila ng mga skandalo, sa kabila ng mga problemang kinaharap ng simbahan, sa kabila ng mga pagsubok na dinadaanan natin ngayon bilang simbahan, we may be imperfect as a church. We have imperfect popes, we have imperfect priests, we have imperfect leaders. But my dear friends, our God has a perfect love for us. At hindi hindi magbabago ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa ating lahat. Kapatid, my dear friend, yun ang pangawakan mo. Marami mga issue na maririnig ka tungkol sa simbahan, pero ang higit na pangawakan mo, si Lord ang natag, nagtatag nito. Hindi nga dito mabubuwag. Bakit? It's built on His love. And that's where we ground ourselves. In Jesus' love. Put both of your hands near your hearts. Feel your heartbeat. And say this prayer after me. Lord, sa gitna ng mga problema, Mga pagsubok, ikaw lang ang kakapitan ko. Ang pag-ibig mo lang, ang kakapitan ko. Wala nang iba pa. Amen. Amen and amen. Thy word, O God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand. The one founded our church everyone take a deep breath inhale exhale I want you to take your seat say to the person beside you keep your eyes on Jesus and let's call back on stage our leader I'm so blessed to see him trivia lang po before I call brother Tony when he was still an attendee I was already active in serving and leading our feast unang kita ko palang kay brother Tony sabi ko this person will be called by God and fast forward to today, he's the one helping Brother Alvin lead our feast plenary sessions. Palapakan natin, Brother Tony Valenzuela. Come on, guys. Maraming salamat. Can we give a big hand to Brother JC Libiran for being here and leading us this afternoon? Nabalas mo ba kayo? 
My gosh, we're going to be even blessed even more. Pakita pa yung katabi and tell the person beside you, be ready for more blessings. Binanggit ni Brother JC that we don't know bakit may mga bad popes sa history ng simbahan natin. Bakit may mga bad leaders? We don't know. We don't know. But today, I want to share with you four incomplete answers. Ilan? Okay lang po. We'll be sharing incomplete answers. But what we want to share with you, despite these incomplete answers, we have a complete God. Amen? Amen. Palapakan natin ng Diyos. And my first message for you this afternoon is this. Say it with me. Everyone needs a Savior. Grabe, no? I'm so glad that God chose Peter to be the first Pope. Itong si Pedro talagang makasalanan din siya eh. Mainitan ng ulo, mabilis mag He was a fumbling, stumbling, bumbling person like you and me. Pero God still chose him first. In fact, di ba? Sabi ni Jesus kay Pedro, You are the rock, Kaifa, Cephas. And on this rock, I will build my church. Pero ito nangyari. Five minutes after nagsabi ni Jesus kay Peter, You are the rock where I will build my church. Five minutes after, nag-prophesy si Jesus. Sabi niya, I will go to Jerusalem and I will be crucified. I will be killed. At ang response, talagang si Pedro, reactive talaga siya. Basta mag-react sa sab- Sabi niya kay Jesus, Lord, no! I can't let this. It will never happen. It won't happen. Ang sabi ni Jesus, ito ha, kakasabi niya lang, you are the rock on which I'll build my church. Biglang sinabi ni Jesus sa reaction ni Peter, get behind me, Satan. Satan? Sabi? Imagine, may nagsabi sa'yo, nagkamali ka lang, no? Nagkamali ka sa office, maleng sinambit mo na ano na assignment, hindi ka umabot sa uh, deadline, biglang sinabi sa, sa'yo ng boss mo, get away from me, Satan. Nagulat ka, no? O kaya, may, may lumapit sa'yo, nagsabi, I, I don't like what you're doing. Sasabihin mo, get away from me, Satan. Ganun ba? Oh, nakakatakad yun, huh? But what Jesus was pointing at here was that yung, yung pag-intindi ni Pedro sa mission ni Jesus, hindi niya nag-gets. So Jesus was also pointing out, hey, you're also human. Pakitingin ulit katabi, mukhang tao ba yung katabi mo ngayon? <laughs> Clearly, the Gospels did not yung mga nagsulat ng mga Gospels natin, they, they did not give a good PR image para kay Pedro. In fact, it's so good talaga that the Gospel writers revealed Peter na isang tao lamang because it also gives us permission to make our mistakes as well. Amen? And what I believe is that kagaya ni Pedro, even the Pope needs Jesus. Even the Pope needs Jesus. Kung binanggit ni Brother JC kanina, our Pope Francis, our very own Pope Francis, is asking all the time for prayers. Kung saan man siya, he'll always say, I am a sinner. Pray for me. Because we cannot be perfect. Pakisabi sa katabi, friend, you're imperfect. Isa pang example. Peter, naalala nyo? Nung nagdadasal sila sa Garden of Gethsemane, nandun si Pedro, nandun si John, nandun si Jesus, at biglang dumating yung mga sundalo ng mga pariseyo, and they wanted to arrest Jesus. Anong ginawa ni Pedro? Reactive na naman. Biglang nilabas niya yung, yung, yung kutsilyo niya, and he cut off the ear of one of the servants, si Malchus. Reactive talaga. And then a few hours after that, Ito ang ginawa ni Pedro. Ask me what? Diba? He denied Jesus three times. Grabe. Three times. Imagine yung pinakamalapit na friend mo, yung BFF mo, dininay ka. No? Best friends talaga kayo. Pero pag dating ng test ng friendship nyo, dininay ka. Diba? Parang visa lang yan sa US, diba? Ilang beses ka nag-apply, dininay ka. Anong pakiramdam niyo? Anong nakaramdaman niyo? Sakit. Diba? But itong si Pedro, sa ayon sa mga Bible scholars, sabi nila, yung ginawa ni Pedro, yung pag kay Jesus na tatlong beses, it's almost as same. Yung bigat ng kasalanan niya, it's the same 
sa pagbitray ni Judas kay Jesus. Pero may difference sa kanila. Ask me what? This is the difference ni Pedro, yung ginawang kasalanan ni Pedro kay Jesus at yung kasalanan ginawa ni Judas. Ito. This is, you got to listen to this. Judas ran away from God. But Peter ran towards God. Nakita niyo po ba? Nakita niyo po ba? Para sila may problema. Friend, nagkasala ka ba? Friend, have you denied someone today? Friend, have you committed a fault against someone? What do you do? Pakisabi sa katabi, run towards God. Run towards God. Kasi tayo mga, particularly tayo mga katoliko, pag feeling natin, ang dumi-dumi natin, tapos may nag-invite sa akin, oh, punta tayo sa feast. Hindi, hindi ako ready eh. Feeling ko, pag pumunta ka dun, sunog ako eh. Oh, parang banal-banal eh. Hindi ko kaya yun. Are you struggling to follow Jesus? Are you stumbling even when you're following Jesus? Are you still committing the same mistakes over and over and over again? Like Peter, tatlong beses niya dininay si Jesus. Pakitapik ulin katabi and tell that person, run towards God. Palapakan natin ang Diyos. Amen. Ang second message, ang second incomplete answer is this. Everyone is welcome. Paki ulit. Everyone is welcome. And I'm so glad na talagang when Jesus chose Peter, na sobrang imperfect na tao, it only gives us the permission that we too can become saints. Pakisabi sa katabi, you're a saint in the making. Yes, you are. You are a saint in the making. That is why si Peter ang pinili ni Jesus. It could have been, pwede naman si John the Beloved, di po ba? Kung ako, isang leader ng isang or group, group of organization o mga tao, talagang pipiliin ko yung pinakamagaling, yung pinakamatindi, yung pinakamalapit sa akin. Pero bakit? Bakit si Peter? Ask me, bakit? Because God chose Peter so that we, tayo, can identify with his scars. Na may pag-asa tayo. Amen? Yes! Kahit yung pinakamatinding kriminal na ngayon nasa preso, may pag-asa yan. If you know the story, since pop culture tayo, I love talking about popes kasi doon ako na-inspire. Mas lalo kay Pope St. John Paul II. Di po ba? If you know his story, talagang may nag-attempt assassination sa buhay niya. Habang kumakaway siya sa Vatican, may nag grill Bang! Bagsak si Pope. Mabuti naman, di tinamaan yung vital organ ng puso. Pero malapit na. Pero anong ginawa ni Pope John Paul II? Kahit nakakulong yung assassin niya, pinunta niya. He talked to him and he forgave him. Kung kaya ng Santo Papa niyan, tayo din pa kaya. All 266 popes were sinners. Lahat sila, mga sinners. Like you and me. Ulit, pakitapik yung katabi and tell, you're a sinner. We're all sinners. We all are sinners. We all have fallen short of the glory of God. No one is perfect. That's why hindi pwede natin sabihin, ay, mali siya, ay, mali tong friend ko. Hindi, we can't point fingers because tayo din. Di ba, pag nagturo ka, sabi nila, isang daliri lang yan, pero ilang daliri yung nakapoint sa iyo? Tatlo. Diba? Ang sakit, no? Pero totoo yan. That's why si Pope Francis, everywhere he goes, he always says, I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Grabe si Pope Francis. You really have to admire his leadership. At kung saan man, he's always asking for our prayers. Sino dito nakakita kay Pope Francis nung pumunta, pumunta siya dito noong 2015? Pakita sa kamay. Woo! Grabe, nakaka-inspire, no? Maki- parang may makita kang anghel, no? Puting-puti. Nalala ko, nasa SMX kami. Lahat ng mga taga Light of Jesus, nasa isang area. Mabuti naman, nandun kami sa barricade, ang lapit. Pero kung nakita namin si Pope, <gasps> grabe, ang in- nakaka-inspire. Because you know that he is an inspiring man. Amen? Message three. Everyone is equal. Paki ulit. Everyone is equal. And we're all human. 
the church is human, priests are human, mga leaders natin sa simbahan human, our leaders in the government are human, we're all human. We're all human. Can you put your hand over your chest and say, I'm human. And I make mistakes. We're human. And etong gusto ko sa Evangeligodium. When Pope Francis wrote this book, he meant this book for us, the church. Kasi dito, in the church, sabay lumalago ang mga mabubuti at mga masasama. In fact, naalala ko nung time na nagde-decide na ako kung papasok ako ng seminaryo, I was inspired because na-inspire ko sa pare namin sa parokya namin sa Bahrain. Bahrain is a Muslim country, mind you, pero mabuti naman pumayag yung hari ng Bahrain na magkaroon ng church, Catholic church. Magkatabi yung Catholic church tapos yung Christian church yung magkatabi lang. So parang isang family kami. Pero na-inspire ako sa mga pare na na-assign sa amin. Mga, and kadalas mga Indian priests ang na-assign sa amin. Bira lang Pilipino, pero alam ko marami mga Pilipinong pare ngayon doon. Itong mga Indian priests, very gentle, very kind, mababait. Pag tuwing nagko-confession ako, talagang nagsasabi sila, Anthony, it's okay. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Oh, all is well, all is well. <laughs> diba? Nakuha ko yung accent, diba? So, so, pag... Tapos talagang, hinangahan ko talaga sila. Mas lalo yung parish priest namin, si Father Felicio Denise. He'd always tell me, Anthony, I want you to be a good servant, okay? You are an altar server? Be a good altar server. May ganun yung ulo. Nakakatawa talaga sila, sabi ko. That's why I, re- I feel really close with a lot of Indian people kasi relate na relate ako sa kanila. And Indian priests are so religious. Talagang, wow, iba talaga, especially during Mass. Doon ako na-inspire na maging magpare before. Pero ito, syempre, walang seminaryo sa Bahrain, Muslim country. Pumunta ako dito naman sa Pilipinas kasi alam ko, Catholic country ang Pilipinas. E di pumasok ko sa seminaryo sa Our Lady of the Angels, Franciscan Seminary sa Nova Liches, Quezon City. Nung pumunta ako doon, talagang yung tibok ng puso ko, ito na, ito na ang hinahanap mo, ito. Pero, when I entered, naging seminarista ko, ang dami kong nakita na sabi ko, bakit ganito yung mga pare? Bakit may pare na nagsisigarilyo? May pare na mga may bisyo? May pare din na umiinom? Sabi ko, ganito ba? Ito bang ang sinusundan kong simbahan? Eh bakit yung mga pare na Indian, talagang sobrang bait, talagang makita mo, banal talaga sila. Pero pagdating sa Pilipinas, oh, nakaka-discourage. Nakaka-dismaya. And I know some of us, even as Catholics, and I'm speaking myself as a seminary, nakaka-dismaya po. When you focus on the servants themselves instead of keeping your eyes on Jesus. Amen? Doon ko na-realize, I'm not here for the priests. I am not here for the leaders. I am here for Jesus. Amen? Amen? Ayon sa Evangelii Gaudium number 24, sabi ni Pope Francis, The sower, when he sees weeds sprouting among the grain, does not grumble or overreact. Yan ang problema natin. Pag may nakita tayong mali sa simbahan, react agad. Bakit ganun? Bakit ganyan? Mas lalo kami mga seminarista, my gosh. Dati pag may narinig kami, may ginawang mali itong pare or bishop, lahat kami pupunta sa chapel, magdadasal talaga kami. Tapos may kung, kung, kung wari, may, ano, may symposium, mag, kung, mag-discuss kami. How about you? What do you think about it? May mga ganun. Mas lalo hindi nakaklaro. But that's why the fourth point is this. Everyone focuses on Jesus. Pakiulit. Everyone focuses on Jesus. The church is sinful. We are all sinful. Pero kagaya ni Pedro, when you run toward God, that's how much God loves you. That's how much God, God's love is so relentless and scandalous. That even ilang beses ka nagkamali, kapatid, you are always given this opportunity to become a saint, to come closer to God. Exciting po ba? Amen? Ako personally, naniniwala po ako, even if you feel unworthy, 
there is a reason bakit kayo pumunta dito today. Amen? Naniniwala po kayo doon? Do you believe that there is a reason why you are here today so that you can come to know God even more? You can come to accept in all humility na nagkamali ka, to put down your pride. Yan ang mahirap din. If we point fingers sa mga problema natin sa simbahan or kung any human organization. Because this is what I believe. When you see the sinfulness of the church, the sinfulness of the church compels us to keep our eyes on Jesus. Amen? Amen. Ang problema sa atin, we focus on the bad things. Di ba may mga ganun na itong tao na to, ang dami niyang ginawang mabuti sa buhay niya. Pero at one moment, nagkamali siya. Uy, daming mali. Parang na-magnify na yung mali, di ba? Relate much? May nakaka-relate ba dito? <laughs> ang daming ginawang mabuti. Hindi na papansin ng mga iba. Pero nung nagkamali ka, nag-stumble ka, isang beses lang, na-magnify ng lahat. My challenge to you is this. Friends, don't focus on your badness. Focus on your goodness. Amen? Amen? Yeah, that deserves a clap. Amen. <laughs> Nakakalimutan natin, mga kapatid. We forget. This is the thing. We forget. Before there was original sin, there was original innocence. At yung innocence na yan, nandyan pa rin sa atin. Nakalimutan lang. We forgot that we were originally innocent and that we can be innocent and free from sin again in Jesus' name. Amen? But I also want to share, before I finalize yung talk, may isang story na gusto kong i-share. And this particular story, nakakatawa. I, I love this particular story nung, habang pinaprepare ko yung talk. It's about the story of Peter walking on the water to Jesus. Nalala yung story na yun? Yes? So in Matthew 14, 25, let's read it out together. One, two, three, go! It's a ghost! They said and cried out in fear. It's a ghost! Parang may buto. Yan ang problema sa atin din. When we are operating on fear, nakakalimutan natin si Lord. In fact, when we're operating in fear, when God comes into our life, we don't look at it as a blessing. In fact, we look at it as a threat. Because fear is ruling our lives. Don't let fear get the best of you. Ang ganda tong story na to. I'll continue. Matthew 14, 27 to 29. But Jesus said to them, Take courage. Take courage. Take courage. Sabi ni Jesus, it is I. Don't be afraid. Can you put your hand over your chest and tell yourself, don't be afraid. Breathe in, breathe out. Don't be afraid, friend. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, sabi ni Jesus. Then Peter got down of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. Ganun, no? Especially when we get to know the Lord for the first time. Excited na excited tayo, di ba? First time natin sa feast. Wow, ang sarap dito, ang saya. May ta, worship, worship, asang kamay, okay. Kakaiba dito, kakaiba din yung misa. Kakaiba din yung, 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 yung mga preachers, kakaiba din yung aura. Iba! Pero pag dumadating na yung mga problema, what happens? Let's continue with Matthew 14.30. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me! Alam niyo mga kapatid, the problem here with Peter, kadalas nangyayari din sa atin. Pag dumadating ang mga problema, dumadating ang mga utang, dumadating ang mga discouragements, hardships, we tend to focus on the winds and the waves, mga problema ng buhay natin. We will always sink when we focus on the wind and the waves of our lives. Tama po? We always sink. Pag problema lang ang focus natin, pag gising pa lang umaga, nako, paano ito? 
Nako, wala akong pera today. Nako, may problema ako sa office. Nako, si Bosing, nakakatakot naman. Uli, okay. Terror teacher sa mga estudyante, terror boss sa mga nagtatrabaho. We always, why do we focus on the problems? Ayon kay Evangelium Gaudium, kay Pope Francis, sabi daw, because this is something beautiful, mga kapatid, yung Evangelium Gaudium, when he says, the joy of the gospel fills the hearts and lives of all who encounter Jesus. That's why we focus on Jesus. Pakisabi sa uli sa katabi, keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Don't focus on the problems. Don't focus on the problems. Nandyan palagi mga problema. Pero it's even more powerful when you go, with, go through the problem with Jesus. Amen? That's also one thing. Bakit na niniwala po ako that we come to the feast. Despite ang mga problema natin, we want to meet Jesus here because we want to journey with Jesus. Excited po ba kayo? Are you excited to journey with Jesus in your lives? That's why here at the feast, we want to journey with you because we believe that kagaya ni Pope Francis, Pope Francis is our leader in the church, in the Catholic Church. We have other Christian brethren who don't revere or, or look up to Pope Francis, and it's okay. But for me, bilang Katoliko, I totally understand. I need to see someone. I need to see his face. I need to wave at him. I need to see his loving eyes. Kailang ko makita ng niya para ma 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 feel ko. Wow, there is someone who is shining Jesus on me. Amen. That's why. Can you look to the person beside you and you smile at that person? Sige nga. Yeah. Kagaya ng sabi ni Father Mark de Manuel kanina. Pakisabi ulit sa katabi, Hi, Jesus! Ang galing, no? Ang galing ni Father Mark kanina. Evangelii Gaudium 11, Pope Francis says, The heart of the message of the gospel will always be the same. The God who revealed Himself in His immense love in the crucified and risen Christ. That is why it is not enough that we come here every Sunday to the feast at tanggap lang tanggap lang tayo ng salita ng Diyos, we also have to become Jesus, the hands and the feet of Jesus to every person we meet. Amen? That's why excited ako talaga sa inyo. After every feast, every time you go out, dun talaga yung totoong mission natin. Ayon sa number 36 ng Evangelium Gaudium, in this basic core, what shines forth is the beauty of the saving love of God made manifest in Jesus Christ who died and rose from the dead. Pakisabi ulit sa katabi, shine God's light. That's why I love talaga yung mga, mga, yung mga gawain ni Pope Francis. Yes, he's not perfect. But I know, dito si Evangelion Godium, Pope Francis, he's revealing that it's all about Jesus. Amen? Can you say it with me? It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. That's why before I close, may ipapakita ko mga pictures. Nandiyan po ba? Can we show it on screen? Yan. If you don't know yet, we have two popes who are in existence. Alam niyo na to? Diba? Before Pope Francis, there was Pope Benedict. Diba? And si Pope Benedict, nakatira lang sa isang parang may kon, maliit na bahay siya sa likod, sa likod ng Vatican. Pero si Pope Benedict, he doesn't disturb. Hindi niya pinapakilaman yung, yung, yung ginagawa ni Pope Francis. In fact, Pope Benedict, nung nag-resign siya, it's na skandalo yata yung mga ibang Kristiyano, yung mga ibang Katoliko. Bakit si Pope Benedict nag-resign? Ano mang meron? Siyempre, niisip yung mga issues na naman ng simbahan, no? Siguro hindi niya kaya, no? Mga problema ng simbahan. Pero personally, if you ask me, naniniwala po ako, that Pope Benedict saw the guidance of God's love not only in his life, pero sa buhay ng simbahan. And I personally believe that Pope Benedict discerned that it was time for him to step down, to allow another leader to step in. Napaka-humbling, no? Ang galing. Imagine Pope Benedict, ito ang right-hand man ni Pope John Paul, isang liturgical theologian, si Pope Benedict. German pa yan. So you can imagine, mga German. Ganun talaga. His ass holds his soul. Strict to mga German. Pero Pope Benedict gave all of us Catholics an example to follow. If it's time that God is telling you to give way to a new leader, to give way to a new generation, let's follow God's leading. 
And then Pope Francis came in. And look what Pope Francis is doing for our church today. That's why siguro nung panahon na yon, magulat ka, bakit ginawa to ni Pope Benedict? Pero now looking back, may purpose din pala si Lord, no? Amen? Naniniwala po kayo doon? That's why when you experience the joy of the gospel, friends, it is not just reading the life of Jesus, no. It's also your life. Buhay mo din. And how God is moving in your life. Just to backstory, that's why I love ko talaga to si Pope Francis. Ang totoong pangalan ni Pope Francis ay Jorge Mario Bergoglio. Di ba? Ang sarap pakinggan. Parang, Jorge Mario Bergoglio. Eh? Parang Italian eh. No? Pero hindi siya Italiano, Argentinian. He was formerly a, an Archbishop ng Buenos Aires and Cardinal of Argentina. And pinili niya, he was, he, ang, si Pope Francis, isa siyang Jesuit na pare, Jesuit, mga Jesuita. And mga Jesuita, ano din sila, strict. Pero yung pinili niyang papal name, Pope Francis, that's why nung na-realize ko, wow, pinili ng Pope nito, Pope Francis, relate na relate ako. I felt very proud kasi Franciscan seminary na ako. Eh. And I realized, he chose the name Pope Francis because I also personally believe, he believes that the person or the saint that he needs to invite sa pagiging Pope niya is someone who is also humble and close to God's heart like Francis. Ayon sa Matthew 14, 31 to 32, this is the point when si Peter naglalakad na sa tubig. Nakita niya si Jesus. Wow, ang sarap ng feeling na ito. Imagine, ginawa ni Pedro, yung, yung hindi na makakuha ng tao, naglakad sa tubig, di ba? So parang, pero nung nakita niya yung waves, <gasps> nagulat siya at natakot. Nag-focus na siya sa wind and the waves. Doon siya unti-unti lumulubo. Matthew 14 says, Immediately, Jesus reached out His hand and caught Him and said, You of little faith, He said, Bakit ka nagduda? Nandito naman ako eh. Why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Can we all stand up? Friends, I don't know exactly what you're going through in your life today. But I hope and pray that God spoke to you in ways that only He can. Alam ko meron dito sa atin who are going through family struggles. Nag-aaway sa family. Meron dito may mga financial lack. Or maybe nadismaya sa mga leaders ng ating lupunan, ng ating simbahan, na discourage tayo sa nangyayari ngayon sa mundo. Maybe some of you have been hurt with what our religious teachers or religious leaders have said. Maybe some of you have been abused, harassed by some of our leaders in the church. Maybe you're going through problems at work. People you look up to have disappointed you. Friends who you thought were your friends but now are your enemies. Itong masasabi ko, don't look at the problems around you, but look at Jesus beside you. Ako personally, siguro inisip nyo, paano ginawa ni Jesus nung hinatak niya si Pedro from the water? Siguro hinatak niya, binigbit niya, kinarga niya. So, Sige, let's go back. Let's go back to the boat. I don't think so it happened that way. What I personally believe, ang ginawa ni Jesus kay Pedro, He lifted him up from the water, hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder, inakbayan niya, at sabay sila, naglakad, pabalik sa bangka. That's a powerful image. Friend, Jesus is doing that for you today. So despite all of the storms that you're going through in this life, the struggles you're going through in your life, this is what Pope Francis is telling us even in, the, in his encyclical letter, Evangelicodium, that Jesus is all that matters. That what you're going through, keep your eyes 
on Jesus. Okay lang, can I ask you to put your hand over your chest? Close your eyes if it's a comfortable position. Father, we are so grateful for your love today. Thank you for bringing us here to the feast. Kahit sa una, yung pagpasok namin, hindi namin alam. Hindi namin alam yung dahilan. Why we came here? Some of us are coming here dahil routine namin every Sunday. But God, we know that you're moving in our lives, that you're making something happen. You're making a miracle happen behind the scenes right now, oh God. Despite the many problems that's happening in our lives, oh Father, kahit nakaka-problema kami, we know, oh God, that any sinfulness that we may be focusing on, any badness that we may be focusing on, we know that you're telling us today to fix our eyes on Jesus. Friends, if you have your novena to God's love, can I invite you to bring them out? If you have it on your cell phones, okay lang. If you don't have it, you can lift up your hands and know that you're dreaming. You're lifting up your dreams up to the God. Sige po, can we lift up our novena? And I want to pray for your dreams. Okay lang po? Yes, oh God. Father, I pray for all of these dreams. I pray for all of these hearts that are reaching out, crying out for you today in this place. Father, you know their struggles. You know their pain. But oh God, you're telling us today what it means to have authentic joy. You're telling us what it means to have authentic fulfillment in Jesus and in Jesus alone. I pray for these dreams. Yung ibang mga dreams po that's in our hearts have not come to completion. Yung ibang dreams broken. Yung ibang dreams it's gone. But we know, oh God, that your dream for us to be complete in Jesus will be fulfilled. We pray for all these dreams because you know, we know that in your perfect time, all of these dreams in Jesus' name will come true. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Para para natin si Lord, let's give him a clap of honor and praise. Let's worship him. Let's worship our God today. Towards the sky
as we fix our eyes on you. Pakisabi sa katabi, let's make it happen. And keep our eyes on Jesus. Were you blessed today? God is so good. God is so good. Pero, uh, before we go to our announcements, can I ask you to sit down and you can prepare your love offering? And as you prepare your love offering, we want to announce good things that are happening here at the feast and in light of Jesus. And siempre, unang una, sino dito ang excited for the Kurikma Conference 2019? Praying, nakabili na kayo ng tickets. It's going to happen on November 21 to 24 at the SMX and MOA Arena. And our classes, the classes will be open soon for those who are able to purchase their tickets para makapili na kayo ng classes. And you can also buy your tickets for Kerygma Conference 2019 Brave outside sa lobby. So get those tickets para makareserve na kayo and you can choose your classes and be blessed with this year's Kerygma Conference Brave. And for our next announcement, I want to call up one of our Feast Worship members, Ayo Barcelona. All right, guys, come on, make some noise. Feast PM session. I can't hear you. Come on, make some noise. Were you guys blessed by Brother Tony, Brother Tony today? All right, praise God. You know, we miss Brother Alvin. We're going to see him again next week, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. He's coming back next week. I don't know I don't know but he's coming home next week, and, and we miss him, and, and, but we're so blessed to have Brother Tony. And I'm here to announce that this coming October 4, 2019, at the Bionian Center, Pasig City. Oh, diba, alam ko ni details. Last week kasi hindi. We'll be having an Above and Beyond Worship Night with Feast Worship, and yours truly will be there. And, and we're so excited because we'll be releasing new songs, new hymns of praise, new creative ways to just give back the glory to our God. Are you blessed by the songs that we sing from Feast Worship? Praise God. Thank you guys. And your support has been helping us to produce more songs. And if you attend this worship night, it will help us in producing more songs and more albums for the Lord. So I hope to see you there on October 4, 2019. If I'm not mistaken, doors open at around 7.30 p.m. So we're going to have two hours of just worship and, and powerful messages by the speakers on that night. Will, you, will I see you guys there? Yes. Medyo tentative pa. Okay, like you have time to think about it. And I hope to see you there. I promise you, I promise you that this is an experience like never before. I'm sure bitin kayo sa worship here. And there in that night, you're just gonna feel God's love, God's presence, and God's glory through songs of praise. God bless you guys. I'll see you. Oh, tickets are on sale outside. So you can just go outside and then buy them. I'll see you guys. God bless you. Thank you, Ayo. Yes, you can buy your tickets nandito lang sa right side paglabas po natin. And you don't want to miss this because they're also going to launch their new album at the Kerygma Conference, tama? So you're going to actually hear the songs firsthand dito sa Feast Above and Beyond Worship Nights sa Bayanian Center, October 4. All right. I'm excited, especially for all of you. But now I want to also invite you to stand up and let's lift up our love offering envelopes. And I also encourage you to also write your to also write your prayer intentions and your thanksgiving uh, answered prayers here because whether you know it or not, we have an intercessory ministry who prays for your intentions. So once these love offerings are collected, yung mga envelopes pumupunta sa intercessory ministry and they pray for you throughout the week. All right? So Talagang we want to bless you even more. All right. Excited po ba kayo? Let's lift up our love offering and I want to pray for you, O oh God. We bless these love offering, our sacrifice for the week. Lord, what we have here is the best of what we can give. But we know, O oh Father, that when we give with a cheerful heart, you will not deny this gift for there is no gift too big or too small. And when we give this, we give this as a response of our love and worship in thanksgiving to what you have done for us. And above all, we know, O oh God, you will not just bless us, you will bless others through us. In Jesus' name we pray! So with big smiles on our faces and great love in our hearts, let's give our best to God. And let's join in singing our closing worship. See you next week. 
Sunday, same time, 1.45, dito sa PICC, kung saan mayroong magandang magayayaan sa'yo! All the first time attenders, we would like to invite you here in front of the stage chapel. Uh, once again, all the first time attendees, we would like to invite you all here in front of the stage chapel. This is uh, Mayroong magandang mangyayari sa'yo Sa piging ng nagilang pag-ibig ng Diyos Misis ko, nandito. Baka nakakagato. Ano to? Ano talima mo? What's that? Spider? Oo. Ba't siya gumagalaw? Matigas? Matigas na spider? Shoot! 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 Gumano rin! Hindi ba yung nakakagat? Maski pa! Gummy worms siya lang to eh, no? Are these worms? Yes. Try it. Uy! Bula! Diba ito? It's a banana? Totoo ba yung kadiri? Looking back the past 12 years of Kerygma Conference, we can't help but be in awe of all the amazing provisions of God. We praise God over and over again for partners who come to our aid to build this event. With your presence and support, we are sure that we can once again elevate the experience of our attendees and servants to greater heights. With your help, we are sure Kerygma Conference will once again bless and change lives. Not only that, you get to enjoy on-event mileages and be at the forefront of happy and inspired individuals. Be a KCON partner this year and help us help many.